The Examiner is a second year four play kit from Love Every. The question is, how is it? Does it still live up to Love Every play kits from before? In this video, I'll go over each of the items that's included to let you know what I like and dislike about them. And at the end, I'll give a shot at attempting to recreate this play kit with Amazon alternatives. So make sure to stick around for that. I'm hoping by now that if you're still considering Love Every for your child, you understand how important the play guide is. By far the most important item of the play kits and also the only true item with no alternative unless you have a bunch of spare time and resources to do a ton of research. It has all the important information to guide you through each of the items inside this kit as well as suggesting more activities for you to do with your child. The Plan Ahead Week Board offers a visualization of what's going to happen in the upcoming week. We already have a calendar that keeps track of major occasions like birthday parties or upcoming trips but this plan ahead breaks it down even further to allow my son to know exactly what the week ahead holds for him. The board is extremely easy to use and that it comes with these magnetic squares that stick to the plan ahead board. Love Ever includes a large amount of different activities as well as some blank ones to create your own. One thing is that they do come with these for lack of a better word emojis and I'm not quite sure what to use them for. So if you have any suggestions feel free to let me know down below. My son has really been enjoying the plan ahead board since I introduced it to him. He tends to ask me what we're doing for the day quite often and the board allows him to find out on his own. We set up the board every Sunday so it lets him know what to expect for the week. The board does start on Monday and ends on Sunday as this allows the weekdays to separate from the weekends more easily. The appropriate game book is amazing. The concept of appropriateness is tricky because it's not set in stone and depends quite a bit on the environment and situation. The book does a great job of explaining major factors in determining what is appropriate. The book basically turns the question of is it appropriate into a game for them. In my experience, reading a book with these complex concepts lets my son grasp the concept quicker. The rhyming rings can be used in two ways. As the name suggests, the first way is to match it so that you make a ring with the rhyming words. They made it slightly easier by making sure that each of the ring only has one of each color. Keep in mind that these rings are for phonological connectors with pictures rather than words. So for example, nail and well rhyme but are spelled differently. Another way to use the ring is to ask your child to sort or categorize the rings. You can do it by color or ask them to sort by things such as animals. It's also fun to ask them to try and create different shapes with it. The modeling stand, unit block builders, and activity cards offer fine motor precision through sensory play. Sensory play doesn't stop just because the child gets older. Not only does it continue, they also tend to enjoy it a lot at this age. The modeling and unmodeling of the sand along with using the cutting tool takes precise fine motor skills. It might seem simple to us, but they'll learn that they need to pack the sand into the mold tightly for them to hold their shape. The included activity cards are fun and my son really enjoys recreating different cards. Of course, it isn't just play as they're using the modeling sand to help with numbers. Show your child that the 5x5 grid is made of 25 blocks that can be cut into 5 bars and then each of those bars can be cut into 5 blocks. The time and compare stopwatch isn't what many would consider a typical toy for a 4 year old but it can offer quite a bit of fun. After showing them how to use the timer, you can use it for fun activities such as asking how long it takes to do something. One of my son's current favorite is trying his best to beat his own record on running through our make-believe obstacle course. It can even be used for things like how long it takes to sing the ABC or even putting on socks. The unique thing about this timer are the manual numbers on the top. At first, it can be used as a way for your child to match the numbers they see and later it can be used to help them understand elapsed time. You use the manual numbers basically as a record keeper on how long it took them on the previous try. So for example, you can ask them it took you 10 seconds to get your socks on the first try but only 8 seconds this time. Which time is faster? The Show, Tell, and Think Empathy game is a game you can play with your child that consists of 3 different types of cards. Acted out cards require each player to act out what they see in the picture. Tell a story cards usually come with an emotion that requires the player to recognize and put a name to the emotion. Afterwards, the player needs to come up with an example of when this emotion might come up. The Imagine If cards ask the player to talk about what they would do in certain tricky social situations. At age 4, this is probably near impossible as chances are they're not reading yet. While I like the concept of this game overall, my son found it a bit too advanced for his age. We mostly stuck with the acted out cards as there was something more within his skill set right now. This game is probably one that won't be mastered or played completely without any assistance for a couple more years. 
Overall, I would say the items on the play kit seemed fairly age appropriate and didn't take too long for my son to understand the concept, of course, besides the show, tell, and think empathy game. So now let's see if I can recreate a similar experience for the play kit from Amazon Alternatives. Of course, keep in mind, like I mentioned earlier, there is no alternatives for the play guide. So no matter how good I get at finding alternatives, you're not going to get the brains of the play kit from Amazon. This weekly activity planner seems like a pretty good alternative for the plan ahead week board. This one sticks to refrigerators doors and includes 33 removable activity magnets. Only thing is that not all refrigerators use a magnetic surface. For example, mine doesn't. So this wouldn't work very well for us. Not exactly identical to Love Every version, but based on the reviews and the description of the book, this seems like an appropriate alternative. Finding moldable sand and mat alternative is easy. The hard part is finding alternatives to the mold and cutting tools. The best I could do for that is the sand castle tools. Not the best alternatives, but it'll have to do. I didn't think it would be this hard to find a decent stopwatch for kids, but there aren't many options out there catering specifically for children. This one is the most simple version I could find, of course missing the manual number inputs. As far as I can tell, the rhyming rings are pretty unique to Love Every, so I didn't expect to find anything exactly the same, but for the purpose of learning rhymes and making shapes, I think this domino set isn't too bad. The show, tell, and think empathy game is another unique love every item. With that said, I think at 4 year old, a picture charades for kids would be pretty fun for them. This version requires no reading, so should be fun for the whole family. If you add up everything that I mentioned, it will bring us to $116.99, which is just a bit shy of $120 love every charges for this play kit. I would say the play guide is still the better deal as yes, you do pay a few dollars more, but you get the play guide and many of the alternatives I found, I had to make some pretty big compromises. Let me know down below in the comment section what you think about this play kit. Are you planning to get it for your four year old? I have a video here where I unbox all four year four love for every play kits if you want to see my first impression on the items. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and until next time, keep parenting the awesome way.